Hello, and uh, this is a tutorial on uh, the stock screener for Google. Uh, Google uh, Finance has a free stock screener feature. They've added it. They added it maybe uh, a year ago. It was in beta, and a uh, very useful tool. I'm going to show you how to use this one because it's free, um, and two uh, because it's really interesting to a uh, tool to use. You can use it to screen. Uh, to build a watch list based on the criteria that I describe in my trading course uh, or you can even add other criteria if you like um, if you have uh, different ideas now uh, there's trading uh, software packages out there that will also screen for the watch list that I describe in my trading course but if you choose not to buy a software package you can always use this free tool so uh, to get to Google Finance uh, it's just uh, the URL google.com slash finance slash stock screener uh, when you get there there's some default uh, criteria lots of things you can choose here exchanges sectors what have you um, it has a criteria typically on the left hand side it has a minimum value for that criteria it has a contrib uh, distribution histogram uh, it has slider bar so you can uh, either use the slider bar or you can type in the uh, the field here for the minimum value and then the max value for any particular criteria now I'm going to delete these because these are uh, fundamental criteria and uh, as you know I believe in technical analysis uh, leave all exchanges all sectors um, and then we're going to look at uh, some things that uh, I use to build a watch list. So um, price is one, so we'll take that. Um, valuation, that's going to be, we want stock metrics. So we'll take float, we'll add that as a criteria, and then volume. You can either take volume or average volume. Um, it, they're they're going to be approximate, so I'm going to just take volume. Um, and then these are the criteria that I recommend for building a watch list. So the price, um, I'll set that at let's say ten dollars, and uh, I'll set. You see the you see the slider moves automatically. If you use the slider, then the value in the box will change. So I'll use this, and I want to have a maximum price. Let's say forty dollars. You can be more precise with the boxes. Okay, so. Now what happens is, um, let me collapse that, when you choose these criteria you'll see a list of stocks uh, below and it shows you the total count and their symbols and what have you and if you scroll down further you can um, uh, view uh, those stocks. Now the problem is you can't uh, export and so what you can do is you can just copy uh, the table Oops. You can just copy the table and then just paste it into Excel just like that. So just select it with your mouse and copy it. Um, hopefully they'll build in a export to CSV feature. But right now you can just do that because it is table based. Uh, float. Uh, let's set up the float. Uh, we want actually fewer shares outstanding because that creates more there we go more demand and then volume we want lots and lots of volume we want a very liquid we want very liquid stocks here so let's push that out to here on the histogram okay so that's a very short watch list you can play with that only 16 stocks so you can put the price you can play with float um, let's see here Float, of course, means scarcity of the shares. Uh, when shares are scarce, uh, they move very quickly when there's buying happening. So let's see, move back a little bit, and let's move volume to about the midpoint there. That's the um, the criteria I use in the trading guide. Okay, so it's about 50 stocks there in that watch list. And so you watch those 50 stocks, uh, apply the uh, look for the setups, and um, uh, you know, these are going to be prime candidates. Now, one thing, these are not just stocks. You see here, this is a exchange traded fund. So uh, if you don't want to trade uh, ETFs, then you can take those out. 
Uh, same thing with uh, ADRs, which are uh, depository receipts for um, uh, foreign um, <clears throat> foreign companies. So you can take those out as well. Uh, they do notate them in, in, in parentheses here. Um, so that's it. So uh, basically, you go to each page, um, and then you copy the row, paste it into Excel, and then uh, you'll have a watch list. You can either import it into another you know, program or just use that watch list uh, as is for your trading. Uh, so that's it. I uh, hope you found it useful. That's the end of the tutorial for Google Finance.